Hey guys, you're watching ZenLab official tutorials and this one is about variables. Actually how to initialize variable in Project Maker. Ok, as so you can see on my desktop Project Maker is already opened. So if you haven't done it yet, please do the same. All variables except global ones are connected with specific project. So we first of all should create a new project. We can do that by clicking the appropriate button on the top menu. It's quite easy. Ok, just click. Ok, we can see new tab with new project name. You can rename it later when you save it. And now we can operate with variables of this project. To do this we click button all variables on the top menu. Ok, let's do this. And we get variables control. And now we can initialize new ones. As you can see we have four tabs there own variables, auto variables, environment variables and global variables. But now we need only this one, own variables, to initialize variable. We have a table here for variable name and for variable value. Ok, let's initialize our first variable. Let it be URL. For instance, you want to save a specific URL in variable and then go to this URL on specific action. Let it be value http zenalab.com. When you name a variable like we did URL, you can copy its macro by clicking this button. It will be saved to a clipboard so you can paste it later on any other action. Let's do this. And we find an action, go to a page. Instead of writing URL here, we just paste our macros that we copied before and paste it here. All actions of the project are executed from the start, so we should connect the start with the first action. You can drag it as you want. Ok, to debug a project we should save it first. We can actually click debug. Let's save first. Let's call it go to URL and save. Debug is running and we are waiting for instance window. Ok, we got it. Our initialized variable URL was used on the specific action. Here is the result. As you see, it's very easy. Thank you for watching. Bye!